Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Yorkie Training with Evie. And on this quick question series, we're gonna talk about why dogs are so food driven when it comes down to training. There was a question that caught my eye. It was my dog Yorkie doesn't sit when I don't have a treat for him. What should I do? So if you guys are interested in this video, stay tuned because I got all the answers. So when you first get your dog, you want to give them a lot of treats day one, but then over time, gradually remove it and make it every other time. So if they sit, you give them a treat and they, they break from the sit, you make them sit again, do not give a treat. So that way it will be every other time. They will not expect it all the time. So that way they will do it. Let's say you're walking your dog. You tell your dog to sit in the middle of a walk and then give him a treat. And then as you're walking again, tell him to sit. And then as he looks at you, don't give him a treat. So that way they will always wanna listen to you without always having a treat because it's not always expected. So that's the perk and that's the benefit of not always giving your dog a treat every time that they do something you ask them to do. So once your dog becomes a food zombie, it's gonna take a lot of consistency to alter that behavior. So you're gonna have to catch them at a time where they are super bored and they wanna play with you or they want your attention. That is the window that you wanna take advantage of because then you can incorporate a training session. So within that training session, you're gonna find the best treats that they like or the best toy that they love and then do it every other time simultaneously. You'll give your dog a treat for doing what you ask them to do and then shake a toy and play with them in um, combination to the whole session. So that's the benefit from it all. So if you do have a dog that is a food zombie, you can still correct it. It is definitely interchangeable, so don't give up. It's all about the routine, the habit, and the lifestyle that you wanna create for your dog. Again, do every other time, doing your whole segment with training, and they will become a better dog and not be so food driven. I had a dog where I trained it so many show dog tricks and commands that it was so food driven, he just became a zombie. I think I had one treat in my hand and he literally did all the commands without me even giving him the treat. That creates a dog zombie and you don't want a dog robot or a dog zombie because it's kind of sad. Yeah, it's cool that they know all the tricks, but you want them to have like a, a stable mindset on, on doing the tasks that you want them to do. So sometimes I go days without making Evie do all her commands. And then sometimes I do, but I won't make her do the whole list. I'll just try to master the behavioral commands, like the sit, the stay, the leave it. So that way she knows I want those commands to be priority over the rest of them. Be super engaging in all the dog sessions that you do. Be kind, be positive. If they don't do what you ask, do not yell because that right there is gonna make them traumatic. <laughs> it may not look like it, but it kind of sabotages their mindset in the sessions that you present them. So just be very respectful and have a good mindset and don't train if you aren't prepared to do it. We wanna do a lot of things, like let's say lose weight. If we're not mentally ready to do that, then it can fail. So even with dog training, make sure you know what you're up against. Make sure you find a window where you can give your dog the designated time, the individual time that they're looking for. So that way this can be a successful session, all right? If you guys enjoy these quick question sessions, let me know, place it in the comment box below. I would love to answer one of your questions that you find beneficial to all the viewers on this platform. Thank you again for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next one because you know I always keep it real. Take care, bye-bye.